I'm Donna Sheely. We are live on the red carpet for the movie screening for five hours to Georgia. So excited to be here. We got a lot of interviews, so stay tuned. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Okay, tell us your name. Courtney White. All right, now who was your character in the uh, movie? Uh, Max Haddon, Five Hours of Joy. I play Max Haddon, one of the personalities. Okay, so tell us about your experience with this wonderful cast and being a part of this movie. It was fantastic. It was uh, my first time doing something for the big screen. Everyone was great. The story was fantastic, and uh, they made it a really, really fun project for me to do. Awesome. Is there anything you're particularly looking forward to and seeing in the screening tonight? Um... My family is. I'm kind of nervous, so oh, but uh, I'm excited about the whole thing. I mean, look at all these people. I know it's a lot of people here, so it's really exciting. Well, good. Thank you for coming. Thank you for We're having excited. me. We're excited. Thank you. All righty. Next, hello. Nice to, meet, nice you. to meet you too. <laughs> what is your name? I'm Karen Chan. Karen Chan. Tell us the character that you played in the uh, movie. I play Ruby Jean. Oh. And she is uh, one of four personalities oh, wow. who hitch a ride to Georgia. Oh, wow. Okay. This is as much havoc as she can muster. Okay. Good insight about your character. A little havoc causing good. Well, tell us about your experience being a part of this production. Oh, it was, it was really wonderful. Uh, Lakeisha is a force to be reckoned with. She knows exactly what she wants out of an actor, and she gets it. Awesome. And Eden, who is the assistant director, yes. she's an alumni with me at Ohio University Theater awesome. School. So she coached a little, awesome. uh, and uh, I love her a lot. Oh, awesome. Well, I'm sure they loved you, too. Well, oh, good. We're so looking forward you. to seeing you tonight. Thank you. All right. Nice meeting you. You, too. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got Mr. KJ here, KJ Dullin, and tell us the character that you play. I'm the motel clerk, the unprofessional motel clerk. Okay, well, you are large and in charge as a motel clerk. Tell us about your experience. Uh, it was a beautiful thing. I loved every part of it, working with the cast. Everybody was friendly. It was family-oriented. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. So tell me what you're looking forward to tonight at this premiere. Uh, well, looking out here at the sellout, yeah. uh, it's very humbling. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking forward to everybody having a good time and um, learning about mental health. Awesome. That's really good. It's a big topic in the movie. Mental health is a big issue, so that is definitely something we want people to get out of that. Very good. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate right. you. I appreciate you, too. Thank you. Come on down. Hello, Elliot. Hey, how you doing? Good, Great to good, be here. good. This yeah. is Elliot Young, and he played... Prophet Gideon James, the character I play in this wonderful film. Okay, now I hear your character's a little funny, right? He is a little over the top. I play a, a man that fancies himself a preacher and a redeemer, but okay. he may not be as anointed as he paints himself as, out to as be. As he thinks he is. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Well, tell us about your experience. Is this your first feature film? This is my first feature film, the first time I've ever been casted in the feature with lines. Wow. So that's incredibly that's exciting. Yeah. So you can imagine how happy I am to be here tonight. Yeah. Good. So what are you looking forward to most about this premiere tonight? I just hope that people get something from it, you know, okay. to walk away from the movie, you know, realizing that there's always hope to redeem yourself, always change your life, start anew. So that's what I hope people get from it. Yeah. Well, good. I hope so. Well, there's a large enough crowd here tonight to support you. So that's a big deal. Yep. It's, I can't believe it. I didn't expect... A hundred people to show up, but we got four hundred plus. Look at that, three so, three theaters. So this good. is a big, yeah. yeah. All right, probably. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. This is Aniqua yes. Chapman. Yes. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Yeah. Tell us your character. So my character was Cad. Um, I play one of the personalities. Oh, okay, yes. one of the personalities <laughs> on this this ride. <laughs> I know exactly. And yes, I hear does. this ride is something else. Yes, it definitely is, okay. and I'm happy my character. I think she'll bring a little bit to it. Yeah. Okay, well, good. <laughs> We're looking forward to that. So tell us about how your experience was of being a part of this cast. Oh, I think it was amazing. Everyone was always professional every day, came one time, ready to work. It was a smooth process. I loved it. Good. Now, what do you, you got a lot of people here. What do you want people to get most out of seeing this film? Well, I hope they really take away from the message, you know, yeah. that when we're talking about mental health and all these other things, mm -hmm. I pray that they take that away and utilize it in their personal lives. Right. Mental health is a really big issue nowadays, and so I'm glad that this is being brought out in the movie, and I think it's very important. So I'm glad you're a part Thank of it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to seeing Thank you. Thank you. I hope so. I'm looking forward to seeing me too. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you. This is Joseph Jones. Joseph, Hello, you? tell everybody who you were in the movie. I'm Rodney, and that's all I can tell you guys about my character because he's integral to the story. So that's all I can okay, say. Okay, well, that's <laughs> all we're going to say about Rodney. Okay, so how was it being a part of this awesome film? 
It was awesome. Uh, great. It's always fun when you get to work with a talented crew. Everybody was a total professional. Yeah. Uh, on time, we got things done, mm-hmm. and it, it was a. It's a. It's a great. It's a great project. I'm wait. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Was this your first feature film? Uh, well, my first one here. Um, I sleep done too in California, though. Awesome. So, yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. All right. Well, we are so looking forward to seeing you in this movie and find out who your character <laughs> is. I'm excited. Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much. All righty. <laughs> Hello. Tell you? us your name. I'm Teresa Peterson. Okay. And your character? My character is Gloria. Gloria. Okay. So Gloria is the the, the main thing, yes, pulling it all she together. Is. She's trying. She is really trying. Gloria is the grandmother. Yes. And so she is trying to bring the family back together under false pretense. She's oh. not believing everything she needs to believe. Okay. <laughs> Well, how was it being a part and you kind of being that 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 matriarch of this cast? How was that? That was really wonderful. Okay. I enjoyed playing my role. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a mother and grandmother myself, yeah. so I consider myself somewhat a matriarch as it is. Right. But this character um, had to be strong and yet had to be weak in order to bring that family back together. Wow. I like the so, two dynamics, strong yes. but yet weak. I yes. like that. So we're going to look forward to that. So tell us, what do you want people, we got a lot of people here, what do you want people to get out of this film as they watch? Okay, as they watch, what I would like for people to get out of this film is that family is so important. Mm-hmm. And it's really important to believe one another. Yeah. You know, and also... Um, All of our families, I think everyone's going to find a little bit of their family in this film. And so with that, you know, there's a little mental illness. There's some spiritual growth needing to take place. There's a spirituality within it all. But most importantly, family is important. Believe one another, love one another, and most importantly, forgive one another. Oh, I love that. All right. Well, I'm so looking forward to seeing you and seeing this film. Thank you so much. Thank Thank you. All righty. Take care. All right, tell us your name. My name is Jessica Pace. Okay, Jessica, now who were you playing in the movie? I play the waitress. Okay, Miss Waitress. All right, now tell us how it was being a part of this cast for this movie. It's great. Everybody's friendly. It's like a family. Like we've like grown together, learned together, Mm -hmm. and experienced this amazing outcome together. Right. Now tell us what you got out of being a part of this movie. Um, I got a lot out of learning to build my character, learning Mm -hmm. to understand who my character is and portray that character in the aspect that is asked of me. Right. Very good. Was this your first feature film? No, I've actually done a lot with Lakeisha. Um, I've done Bluebird. I've done Lost. So this is my third film with... um, this production yeah. and I've really enjoyed working with them. Awesome and finally tell us how it is you've worked with Lakeisha a lot so how is it working with Lakeisha? She's great I love her she's so sweet she's yeah. understanding she's yeah. caring and it's just it's it's like if I say like a family working yeah. with her. That's awesome well we look forward to seeing you. Thank okay you. waitress. <laughs> All right. Have a, hey, hello how are you? Good how are you? Yeah. Excited to be here? Yes. Okay I'm, tell us your name. I'm Kayla Washington and I play Melody. Okay Melanie. All right so tell us about your experience being a part of this cast and being a part of this movie. Yeah, it's been amazing. Um, I've learned so much. This is my first feature film. Awesome. Um, so it's just been, a, it was a great process. Mm-hmm. Keisha, she really just was a great director, good. gave great direction. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Definitely would do it again. Good, very good. All right, so what do you want people to get out of it when they see this movie? What do you want them to take away? Um, I feel like there's a lot of layers to the movie. It's funny. At the same time, it has a really deep message. Mm -hmm. Um, There's a mental health message. So really just be entertained and also pick up on kind of the deeper meaning behind it. Right. Yeah, mental illness is a big topic right now, so I'm glad that it's being addressed in this movie, and I think that's very important. Well, we're so happy to to see you. I'm so excited. Well, we're (laughs) everyone enjoys it. I think we will. All right. Thank Thank you. you. (laughs) All right. Tell us your name. Kendall. Kendall. Last name. Kendall. Summers. Kendall Summers. Who do you play Kendall in the movie? Teen Trish. All right. So tell us about your experience. Well, it was honestly a lot of things I had to learn. Yeah. It was like different steps I had to do to develop my character. Okay. Well. And it's way more than I expected. Is this your first feature film? No. Okay. So um, how many movies have you been in? Well, in total, four. Awesome. So what made this, you feel like it was a little bit more complex, this character? Well, usually I act in more like younger characters. Okay. And so me being a teen, it's mm-hmm. more difficult. I have to like unlock yeah. different 
doors, different doors. Look at you. That's deep. I love that. All right. So what do you, what did you get out of this most of all, you know, when you came away from the production, when it was wrapped up, what did you get out of it? Well, I got constructive criticism, mm -hmm. so it'll help me throughout my acting career. Good. And I just know that this will be an experience I could talk about. That's right. Awesome. Well, we look forward to seeing you. And I, you. I know you look so pretty. Thank All right. You. Take care. Uh, hi. My name is Melody Bell, and I play Teen Melody. All right. So talk to us about your experience being a part of this wonderful production. Oh. I've had a jovial, jovial experience working with the cast and the crew, just being on set and being able to take those dark elements and situations and scenarios that families go through and just being able to tap into those emotions and expand and broaden um, just different situations through uh, traumatic experiences. It's, it's awe-inspiring and just very opening to be able to put myself in those shoes that real real life people people go through that every day and so just I so what do you think people will really gain out of when we when they come out of the theater what are they really gonna you know come out with I think a lot of people are gonna be touched through different themes I feel like there's different um, situations that are equipped to um, I guess touch one person either way in a different form. There's a lot of traumatic experiences that the um, children go through growing up and just how that uh, carries with you throughout life and how it, um, I guess, sets you on your path and just determines your actions and your, the consequences of those actions. So you really feel people are going to really relate to the character that you play in the movie. Good. Well, we so look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I've had a jovial experience and I just can't wait. Well, you are jovial. We love it. Thank you. All right. Take care. <laughs> Tell us your name. Uh, Nathan Murphy. Okay. And your character? Uh, the gas station clerk. Okay. Talk to us about this experience, this cast. Um, I mean, it was a great experience. The second you step on set, you can tell cast, crew, everybody's passionate, not just about film, but about this project and all of the messages sort of wrapped into it as well. Very good. Talk to us about the director, Lakeisha. How was it working with her? Um, it was a blast working with her. I mean, that's the great thing about being on set is you meet so many new people, yeah. new faces, and you yeah. could tell the second you talk to her just how passionate she is about yeah. it and about the message behind it and just yeah. the film overall. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit about the message that people should get away when they leave this film. I think there's, it's such a complex question. Okay. I mean, there's so many underlying messages and topics mm -hmm. to take away. I, mm -hmm. think, I think people will take away what they need to take away, yeah. whether it be the strength of family, the value of spirituality, faith, or um, the struggle of mental health in it as yeah. well. There's just yeah. so much to it, and I think there's so many great messages covered in the film as well. Well, we look forward to seeing you. Yeah. Thank you for Thank talking you. with me. Okay, take care. Miss Tara, how are you? Yeah, good, good, how good. Are you? Yeah, so this is Tara Malachi, and you play? I play Trish. Okay. Talk to us about Trish a little bit without giving us too much. Okay, I won't give you too much. Okay. Trish is um, saucy. Trish is older, okay. the older sister okay. of the three. Um, Trish is trying to keep her sisters together okay. with a lot of trials and tribulations. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> says that in a certain way, so yeah. I can't wait to see yeah. what that's yeah. about. Yeah. So talk to us about your experience being with the cast and, you know, how it was being filming this production. Um, being with the cast was like being with family. Yeah. We didn't have a bad day. Oh, that's Anytime awesome. somebody wasn't feeling their full yeah. best, um, the energy from the other cast members were like, let's go. We okay. got this. We got this. So, I mean, it was just like being with family, being with your cousins and your brothers and your yes. sisters and yes. grandparents. So it was wonderful. Awesome. So what do you expect people to take away when they come out of that theater? What do you want them to come away with? I want people to come away with um, being okay with not being okay. 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 And being okay with going to seek help. Yeah. Yeah. And um, going to be able to actually feel like, that movie touched me. I have yeah. faith. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That. Well, good. Well, we so look forward to seeing it, Absolutely. seeing your character. Yes. I look forward to everyone seeing it. Yeah. So, it's a blessing, and God is good. Yes, he is. Well, yes. thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. Amber Fisher, how are you? I'm well. How are you? Good. Tell us your character. So, my character is teen girl. She happens to be a friend of the family. Okay. Friend of the family. All right. Tell us about your experience. What was your most memorable moment in filming? Um, my most memorable moment was honestly just finding different ways to break out of my shell, turn into that character because I'm a teen girl, but mm -hmm. I'm a real life in the dark. So right. <laughs> I had to really try to channel like my feelings, my thoughts and my fears also mm -hmm. within. To become a teen. Yeah. yeah Cause it can be very complex. Yes. What do you think would be the major message that would people will come out away from, you know, after they watch this movie? Yes. Um, I honestly think um, just 
of course, mental health mm -hmm. and how mental health blends in with family relationships. You always need support when you're mm -hmm. dealing with anything, mm -hmm. but also tackling all of that and putting spirituality into it too. Yeah, I think that's good. one thing that they will, one major thing that they'll walk away with. Good. I'm hearing that's a major theme tonight, mental health. So I think that's really good that, that we're, that you guys are tackling that in this film. So good. Well, we look forward to seeing you. Same. I look forward to seeing you in there and I would like to see how you feel about it afterwards. Yeah, for too. sure. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you. Okay. Right, thank thank you. you. Okay. All righty. Come on up. Hello, what is your name? Sanaya Archer. Okay, Sanaya, now what was your character? My character's name is Alicia. She's one of the personalities of Gigi. Okay, one of the personalities. All right, so what was your favorite moment in filming? My favorite moment in fil filming is meeting new people and mm -hmm. learning new acting skills. Very good. Now, is this your first feature film? Um, it is not. I've done a couple of them. Okay, awesome. Well, tell us how it was working with Miss Lakeisha. It was really fun. She taught me a lot more things, mm -hmm. and um, I really liked working with her. You feel like you have expanded as an actor by being a part of this? Yes. Very good. So what do you think will be the main takeaway that people, when they see this film, that they'll, they'll, they'll come away with after they watch it? Um, probably if they see somebody with DID mm -hmm. or with multiple personalities, okay. that they'll know a little bit more about it. Very good. Very good. So you feel like you learned something, too, being a part of it? Yes. Very good. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you. Thank you. All right. We'll see you in there. Okay. I'm here with Jayla Cartwright, right? And tell us the name of your character that you play. Gigi. Okay, Gigi. So tell us, how was this working in this movie? Good. It was good? Did you have a good time? Yes. Did you learn anything? Um, how to, like, do the stuff. Okay, good. And Miss Lakeisha, was she a good director? Yes. Good. What are some good things that you remember from her? Um, that she was nice mm -hmm. and helpful. Oh, nice and helpful. So are you looking forward to seeing yourself on the big screen? Mm-hmm. Good. Are you going to be a little nervous? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little nervous. Have you seen yourself on the big screen before? No. So this is your first time? Mm-hmm. So I'm looking forward to seeing you up there. That's going to be a big experience for you, isn't it? Yes. Good. Okay, is that your mommy over there? Yes. Yeah, so she's, she's probably excited to see you on the big screen too, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I hope you have many more movies after this, okay? okay. All right, we'll see you. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, tell us what's your name. I'm Sharon Famoyer, and I play Gigi. Yes, and you did a phenomenal job. Thank tell you. us, how was it preparing for this role? It was not easy at all. Like, okay. she has multiple person. Uh, Dissociative Identity Disorder, right. so it was like being able to portray other people while portraying myself, yeah. so it was it was really hectic. So it was almost like preparing for like four other yeah. roles, right? Like five people at once. <laughs> so um, what was it like working with this, this amazing cast? It, it was amazing. They, every day was so fun. Even if it was tiring, we were up to like, who knows, ungodly hours right. it was so fun being with them everyone was very supportive mm -hmm. very kind it just felt like an actual family good and what did you what was your big takeaway from being a part of this movie well besides more experience and yeah, learning more good. skills yeah. yeah um i can find i feel like from this film i've learned so much as like so much about people too yeah because the film shows so much about mental disorder and how people deal with that and like the human psyche. I sound yeah. so crazy. No, but like, no, no. <laughs> but like, I feel like I can better understand people now, and this film can actually teach people how to be better people. Really. Yeah, and it, I love the whole overarching theme of it's okay to not be okay. Yeah. yeah, I think, but I really think you portrayed that well. You kind of, you know, you just made it seem like a real person that we could relate to. Yeah, <laughs> thank yeah. you. You did a really good thank job. You. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. All right, we are here with the screenwriter. Just yes. This was phenomenal, <laughs> Tiffany Wolford. Yes. And we're just just blown away. This was an awesome, awesome production. Thank you so much. Can you just give us a little background on how this even just began? Yeah, um, I really got the idea. It was God-given, honestly. Uh, that's the only way that I can describe it. Mm -hmm. It's that I had this idea for telling a story of mental health issues, particularly in the black community, mm -hmm. but a story that could relate to anybody, no matter right. your race. Right. Um, and I really just wanted to kind of talk about the idea that it's okay to not be okay. Right. Sometimes like in families, um, we we hear, oh, you're just sad. Mm -hmm. Get over it. You're yeah. being dramatic. Right. Just pray about it. Mm -hmm. 
But it's one thing you can pray and you can believe God to heal you, but God also gave us doctors and he gave us medicine. Right. And there's nothing wrong with going to therapy. Right. There's nothing wrong with getting help mm -hmm. and also believing that God can still heal you. Right. So it's not one or the other, but I wanted to tell a story that it can be both and that's, that's okay. Right. That was awesome. There was one line I believe that one of the characters said is like, um, he can move mountains, but he'll give us the climbing equipment. Yes, to conquer yeah. that mountain. I love that yeah. lie. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yes. Now, are you also an educator? Yes, I am. I a good. Teacher. Good. I was an educator too, so we have a lot in common. Um, <laughs> so, but do you think that played into a little bit of your, you know, net background and dealing with students? to kind of play a role in this as well? Yeah, this is my first screenplay, mm -hmm. but I have been a writer since I can remember. Okay. Uh, and so I've self-published one uh, book myself, okay. but then I've also been working on some other books that I want to uh, you know, reach out to literary agents. Right. And I think my experience in the classroom has yeah. definitely helped yeah. uh, with, it, with all of my writing, not just with this film, right. but with all of my writing and mm -hmm. the idea of being able to work with people and mm -hmm. having not just student issues, oh, yeah but also with coworkers oh, yeah. and administration and, and being able to have those conflicts, but then being able to resolve those conflicts. Yeah. So definitely a lot of life experience. You know, sometimes I wonder like, God, why did you make me be a teacher? It's right. so difficult, it's so I hard, know, right. but everything happens for a reason. Right. And I've definitely pulled a lot of my, my life experience with this film and everything I write. That's awesome. And finally, tell us how it was working with Lakeisha. Oh, it was incredible. Yeah. It was absolutely amazing. I, I just can't, I can't put it into words like how it all came together, you yeah. know, to to get a job at the school that she works at, to to be, you know, I mean, we were working together for weeks before right. we even started talking about yeah. the book, yeah. you know, I mean, with the, we, I was using a book in the classroom, okay. and she asked me if I had written it, and I was like, yes, don't tell the students, though, because, right. you know, kids, kids right. but uh, she was like, I have a film company, and I was like, I have a script, and so it was just really God-ordained, wow. like it's, there's no way else it could have happened, and I just love working with her, she has such a pure heart, yes, uh, a good does. spirit, mm -hmm. she's really, she really cares about the craft, she cares about the art, and she mm -hmm. cares about those that she's working with, mm -hmm. and she cares about a positive message, it's yeah. not just about making some money, right. it's not just about making films, but it's about influencing people, mm -hmm. it's about spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ yeah. and that's the most important thing. That's awesome and I believe you just had a huge message with the movie. Yes. It was awesome. It was amazing. Oh, thank you Absolutely so love much. it. So what's next? Uh, well, <laughs> I actually have another movie that I'm outlining oh, and I'm also thinking about a television pilot that awesome. I'm going to be writing as well as a, a new book that's going to be hopefully coming out this year. I love how you said in the uh, room there you were telling us you, you always have to be ready. Yes. I love that. Expound yeah. on that. Well, when I first got the idea for this movie, mm -hmm. like I said, you know, with the q and I yeah. just, I felt like there's no way for me to do it. So why yeah. would I waste time right. writing a script when I didn't think I could make it into a movie? Right. And through this whole experience, God has taught me, if I give you the idea, mm -hmm. do it. Okay. Okay. Like, it doesn't matter. I, in my human mind, I'm thinking, I can't do this. Right. But God said, do it. Do it. You know, make it happen. Write, write the vision. Make it plain. Mm -hmm. You know, to write out the, the ideas and the books and the stories that I've right. given you. And he told me, Tiffany, I will do the work. Amen. I will yeah. order the steps. Yeah. I didn't see it for myself. And no. so I thought, no, this isn't going to happen. I pushed right. it to the side. Right. But through this, God has taught me, it doesn't matter. You don't have to see. That's right. You write it and I will open up the doors. Right. And I told God, well, Lord, you open them, I'm going to walk through them. Come on now, I love it. Well, thank you for being thank obedient so much, yes. and following what he told you to do and being ready. Thank you All so right. much. Thank, thank you. you. It's been a pleasure. Here with Eden Evans. She was the assistant director of this awesome film. Tell me, how was it working on this film? Oh, my God. I loved every minute from 5 a.m. Oh till 1130 or whatever it was. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm sure it was a lot, but tell us how it was working with everybody on this. It was really fantastic. Yeah. This was really a uh, uh, a work of family, of uh, love. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. we this it was such a great group of people. Yeah. Um, from the the sound operator and the boom mic operator mm -hmm. to Lakeisha wow. to the actresses and the yeah. actors. Mm -hmm. Uh, the main characters, yeah. the the cameo characters. Right. I mean, it was just fantastic. It was. It was.
was. What was the main thing that drew you in to say, you know what, I want to be a part of this project? Lakeisha. Awesome. Um, we kind of ran around in a lot of the same circles. Okay. And I came to see uh, two of her film shorts. Okay. I saw the first one and I was like, oh, oh, I, I, oh, yeah. Wow. And then came to see, you know, we were getting to know each other, came mm -hmm. to see one of her other ones. Mm -hmm. And I said, sister girl, <laughs> we got to collaborate. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys did a fantastic job. Well, thank you. This was so well done. And I just thank really you. think it, and the message behind it as well, just everything. I think you guys did an awesome job. Absolutely. And since it was, since it was locally uh, produced, it was yeah. fun to go, oh, that we did that there and yeah. we did that there. So, yeah, it was yeah, great fun. Was great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so okay, much. Great, thanks. All right, girl. Okay, here we are, guys, the big moment. This is the big uh director producer i mean you just do it all miss lakeisha lorenzo so, so happy to be a part of this and i'm so proud of you thank you so much donna we're just honored to have you here and you know i've admired your work for years so girl. i'm so happy you're hosting the oh, carpet girl. and i'm admiring you there. so this is absolutely amazing the crowd here was phenomenal can you first tell us how did you get the word out this is absolutely amazing yeah, um, God, all God, <laughs> really. Um, we, we started selling tickets back in October. They mm -hmm. sold out in like three weeks of awesome. the first theater. Mm -hmm. And then we said, okay, so we'll open a second theater. Right. Then those sold out around Thanksgiving. Yeah. And they were like, okay, there's still people that want to come, so right. we'll open a third. So we have three sold out theaters mm -hmm. um, for a small, uh, ultra low budget SAG film wow. um, that we're really believing that'll do some great things and we're happy to just stop by home first. Well good, well I'm glad you did. So tell us a little bit about how you came on board with this with Miss Tiffany and, and how this all came about. Yeah, so Tiffany and I worked together um, at Tiffany our, Wolf. Tiffany Woolfork is yes. the screenwriter yes. for this film yes. um, and we worked together um, at a middle school so we actually met there nice. um, I told her I had a company um, mm -hmm. and that we produce film. Mm -hmm. she said and she's, your company? My company is Love and Life Productions LLC. Awesome. Um, uh, and she said that, you know, she's always wanted to make this script a film. And she told me about the story. Mm -hmm. I loved it. And yeah. I said, oh, my God, like, yeah. we need to talk. I'd love yeah. to bring you on as a client. And yeah. then from there, everything just snowballed wow. and continued. Well, awesome. Well, you know what? I've been talking to all your uh, cast, and they're, they're phenomenal. They've yes. been really good. And um, one of the big takeaways that they said they'll get from this movie is mental health. Talk to us a little bit about what that plays in this film. So mental health um, plays a really huge role. The mm -hmm. message of this film really speaks to um, black communities mm -hmm. in regards to partnering faith with um, traditional practices of getting help for mental problems. Right. Um, that's something that we really neglect mm -hmm. uh, sometimes a lot of times within the faith. And Love yeah. and Life Productions LLC, we are a company that primarily produces films that are faith-based or have heavy faith-based elements. Mm -hmm. So it was really important to us to show this family that's just like anyone else's family mm -hmm. um, going through different trials and mm -hmm. how they can overcome them and yeah. what they can find out. Yeah. Um, so that, you know, this film is very uplifting in that way that there are second chances mm -hmm. um, and there are different ways of seeing things that maybe you haven't thought about before. That's awesome. Well, first of all, for you to be doing this, a female black young lady to do this I just think this is absolutely phenomenal so if somebody is out there like how did she do this what did how did she what was she able to do this can you give us a little advice for somebody who may want to do something on this scale one day yeah. where should they start Wow um, I took two years when I decided I've been acting since I was eight professionally mm -hmm. and then I moved into filmmaking in 2015, 2015. and mm -hmm. before that I took two years to really study see what I liked yeah. see what I can do and I actually kind of cheated a little bit okay. I went to school you know as you know for broadcast yeah, yeah so they kind of loop in together yeah. mm -hmm. a bit so yeah. television broadcast news broadcasting mm -hmm. and that's what kind of turned me on to getting more intrigued about the filmmaking world right. mm -hmm. um, so I would say study 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 yeah. I had some wonderful mentors yeah um, one of which I actually asked to be assistant director of the film awesome. Eden Evans and she's a part of this yes I heard about um, her <laughs> yeah so you know I've had a, a lot of great um, a great mentors yeah. really reading up on the industry you have to stay up on what this industry is mm -hmm. it's constantly changing standards Standards are constantly changing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, just immersing yourself in it. If you think that you want to start a business, um, it doesn't take much to start a business. Right. But to keep it running at a high level, mm -hmm. you're a continual student. Right. So um, that's what I would say do. All yeah. right. Well, you're doing it. We're so proud of you. This is awesome. So we're looking forward to seeing this film. And I know it's going to be amazing. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Donna. This is awesome. All right. Well, we're about to check it out.